Cloudy skies all across the Carolina region. We have some light snow showers in western South Dakota. Sioux Falls, we're going to get uh, maybe another couple tenths of an inch of rainfall overnight. And with the temperatures dropping, it might be a couple flakes of snow mixed in toward tomorrow morning, but more rain than snow and not very much at that. Yes, the temperatures will fall because we'll have a strong northwest wind overnight. Low by morning, 29 in Sioux Falls, 25 Aberdeen, 22 with a mix of rain and snow in here at Rapid City. Some lingering snow showers at Windy, 14 for a low tonight. Then during the day tomorrow, the clouds will break up after those showers and it's still going to be windy, strong northwest winds, so temperatures will fall during the afternoon, falling through the 30s. Much less wind on Sunday, maybe a nicer day. We'll tell you all about that and your Saturday snow in just a few minutes. Kelloland U starts now. Live from Kelloland Media Group, Kelloland News, first at four. We talked with Attorney General Marty Jackley about leading the Attorney General Alliance and the issues that he hopes to focus on. Plus, today's winter weather is postponing some football games. We'll look at how this will impact the playoffs. And later, we look into why the Community Blood Bank is turning to high school and college students for donations. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to First at Four. I'm Kelly Volk. And I'm Don Jorgensen. South Dakota Attorney General Marty Jackley recently was selected as chairman of the Attorney General Alliance. The group offers a way for all state attorneys general to come together to discuss and learn about issues impacting their states. Now, as chairman, Jackley controls the agenda. He says he plans to put the focus on human trafficking and South Dakota organizations like Call to Freedom that were formed to help victims. I'm trying to bring both out of Rapid City and Sioux Falls those components on a national level because they do it right. Um, they protect our victims well. They are an added component to what law enforcement can do. And uh, I want to put them on the stage to say this is how you best do it. Coming up tonight on Cuddleland News at 10, we're going to find out why social media companies like Facebook and TikTok are now facing lawsuits filed by Jackley and the other attorneys general. Last night's snow in western South Dakota played a role in a deadly crash in Custer County. The South Dakota Highway Patrol says an SUV slid on the wet road along Highway 16A and drove into oncoming traffic. Authorities say the SUV crashed into a Porsche, sending the vehicle into a tree. The 66-year-old driver of the Porsche died at the scene. A passenger was also hurt. The 16-year-old driver of the SUV had minor injuries. Well, this is what it looked like in Montana last night. As the snow, as you see here, started piling up across much of the state, several cities saw two to six inches of snow, and even more snow fell this morning, making roads slick. And temperatures are also frigid across Montana. And uh, we're going to have a little snow of our own in the coming Sounds days. Sounds like it. We've got uh, a couple more days before that happens, though, Megan. That is right, Don. We That is the second round of snow that's gonna, going to hit Sioux Falls. That first round right now that's coming from Montana is going to hit North Dakota harder. And they're making snow at Terry Peak, and that wind is pushing that man-made snow into the cameras at 16 degrees right now and just a light breeze in Sioux Falls. Cloudy skies, 54 degrees, northwest winds at 13 miles an hour and an inch or two of snow on the way for Saturday. That first round that is in northwestern South Dakota has a winter storm warning in red and a winter weather advisory in blue for that glaze of ice with a few inches of snow on top of that. That is posted through tonight. The second round of snow coming for Saturday has a winter weather advisory posted in Nebraska for two to four inches of snow. So if we take a look at Kelloland Live Doppler, we do have light rain and snow showers moving through. The snow in the light blue in western South Dakota, a rain and snow mix in pink there between Mobridge and Eagle Butte, and a few light rain showers are moving through Gettysburg and Oneida right now if we take a closer look. Right now, our temperatures are a little bit on the interesting side. We have 70 in Spencer, Iowa, 44 in Watertown, 26 in Faith, and 23 degrees in Custer. We have a strong northwest wind that's going to pick up tonight. A few light rain showers where we could see a couple tenths of an inch of rain in Sioux Falls with a low near 29. Light, 
Light rain showers in Aberdeen and 25, 22 in Pier with that rain snow mix overnight and a cold 14 degrees in Rapid City. We'll keep the strong northwest winds around tomorrow and our temperatures are going to fall through the 30s, but we'll get some sunshine by the afternoon. We'll take a look at the timing of Saturday's rain snow in just a little bit. All right, thanks, Megan. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds is responding to book removal lists by school districts across the state. Schools are required to take books off the shelves that have sex acts in them. Back in late July, the Urbandale Community School District removed almost 400 books out of the concern for the new penalty system. The district later narrowed down the list to 65 books. Some parents, teachers, and administrators say that there is a lack of clarity in the new law. However, Governor Reynolds thinks the law is pretty clear. They deserve the tools to help these kids succeed. Not a damn distraction on a nasty, pornographic book that should never, ever be in a classroom. And I think it's pretty clear. And if they can't distinguish that, then, oh, I don't know. You know, maybe we better like, take a look at what they should be dealing with. So... Uh, it's just a distraction, and they're trying, they don't like it, and so they're blowing it out of proportion. It's simple, the words are clear, and follow, follow the law. Follow the law. School districts have been asking for more guidance from the state on the new law. U.S. Senator Mike Rounds recently hosted bipartisan panel discussion about the use of artificial intelligence in cancer research. Academic and industry experts discussed how AI is transforming healthcare. Rounds, who lost his wife Jean to cancer nearly two years ago, says advances are being made that can make a difference on an individual basis. The senator also says the next five years will bring incredible advances in the use of AI. And while the cold this week, um, swimming pools are likely the last thing on your mind. But in Canton, city officials are celebrating a big milestone for a pool that has been years in the making. Kettle Lens Summer Rotter Shot takes us to the site that will soon be home to a new aquatics facility. While it might not look like much right now, behind me is the future site for Canton Swimming Pool. After the last one was demolished a few years ago, people have been waiting for six years for another place to go swimming. All hands on deck through the whole community. Uh, kids have been doing fundraisers, obviously the pool committee. Community members have just really stepped up to help us get this project done, even with the kind of massive inflation we've experienced. Coming up tonight on Kelloland News, you'll hear more about the long-awaited groundbreaking and the future plans for the pool's construction. In Canton, Summer Ottershot, Kelloland News.